Hey guys, and finally, welcome back to another Halloween video. Now, for those of you guys who are wondering where I've been, I just want to say I'm really sorry. My life has been crazy lately. Um, my high school just started their musical program, and I'm heavily involved with that. I um, have been busy with work, and I just have not had time for YouTube, but uh, I am back, finally, for the Halloween season. And um, to kick it off, for some of the prop reviews, finally getting out of Spooky Town and talk about some props, I want to start off with an oldie but a goodie. These are the uh, two of the Jimmy floating ghosts that I'm going to talk about. I have the classic model right there, you know, the one with the, just like the regular ghost, the ghost, sorry. And then um, we have the Grim Reaper. So with that being said, let's get started, shall we? All right, so I'm sure you uh, old timer, you know, vintage collectors probably know what the uh, floating ghosts are. There were a line of... Uh, uh, ghost products from Jimmy that were released from I believe 2000 to 2010 and some of the older models include like the of course the regular floating ghost the Grim Reaper there was a witch there's a dawn of the dead one there's a skeleton one there just there have been a ton of these and recently in 2017 they actually rebooted the line and um now there's now they're making new ones that are you know, kind of re-engineered and rebooted, so it's really cool to see it coming back, and some of the newer ones are really nice, but I wanted to talk about the older ones today, so I guess as a start, let's start with the uh, classic one first. Alright, so for any of you guys that are familiar with the Floating Ghost, you pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you know what the uh, the uh, standard function is. There are these uh, strings that you have to attach them to, they come on the pole, which by the way, the pole you do have to assemble, and um, you have to attach the uh, actual ghost part to the strings, so they can function properly, and what happens is whenever you turn it on, the uh, there will some some black lights will come on on the pole right there, and then the ghost will start moving up and down while it plays a really uh, spooky sound. Again, I'm pretty sure all of you guys uh, know this for uh, you know all of you guys that have owned one of the uh, floating ghosts, and then the same thing can be applied for the Grim Reaper. Which, by the way, I have the light up eyes version. There is a version that does not have it, but I have the one with the light up eyes. So. I thought that one was cooler. So yeah, I guess really there's not much else to say but to show you guys what they do. Okay, so just as an FYI, my Grim Reaper one's a little bit wonky on the uh, up and down mechanic, as you probably have seen. The uh, head doesn't come down until uh, half uh, midway through its uh, you know function period. So just as an FYI, it came like that. And again, these are old pieces, so you know, little uh, technical goose like that is kind of to be expected. But e uh, either way, I absolutely love these things. They're very nostalgic. I remember when I used to have these. I actually used to have a floating ghost in this yard, but the one that I used to have, it stopped working because I accidentally left it out in the rain, which, by the way, these technically are not in, uh, outdoor props. They're meant to be indoors, so if you do want to put them outside, just anytime there's uh, any crazy weather, it's best you bring them in, or else they'll probably uh, drain out. So, anyways, yes, I remember when I used to have these in one of my older houses, and I just absolutely fell in love with them. I just, <laughs> my dad would uh, activate them, and i just watch it for hours, so... Yeah, guys, uh, that was my shorter review of the uh, two floating ghosts, you know, the floating Grim Reaper and the floating ghost. Um, really cool pieces. I love uh, vintage Halloween, and I'm to have a very special place in my heart. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's good to finally be back into making videos. And for my next video, we're going to be going back to the clown theme and talking about a really cool clown animatronic I got. So anyways, guys, I'll see you then, and I'll talk to you next time.